Hello and welcome to another episode of What the Fuck is in This Book? And he's trying to make it as a singer. I'm 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 launching my solo career, <laughs> <laughs> and I'd like if you could all support me by. I know I'm only messing. I just thought maybe a little jingle. Oh, you'd love that, wouldn't you? I'd, tour the world. I'd love to be touring the world, <laughs> just singing the one line. Yeah, a one man show. Anyway, so today we're moving on to our <laughs> episode number eight. We are um, on episode eight, and bitches. we're in a new location. We've done Dublin. We haven't done my home place yet, and we are now in Waterford. We are on the coast of Waterford, because um, I moved, you guys. I said, fuck this, and I moved out of Dublin. Hi, all my Dublin friends. I miss you guys, and I love you. But I decided to come to a crazy little village in the middle of nowhere instead. Will's only just got here. What do you think, Will? i tell you one thing, it's a trek. <laughs> <laughs> You'd be bringing a packed lunch the next time. Um, neither, of, neither of us can drive. So we had to use all the methods of public transport in in, uh, in uh, Ireland to get here. Mm-hmm. Um, and lifts. Yeah. And I was like. But we got here. I, you know when I was moving, I was like, what's the most obscure location I could get to and make it hardest on myself? Because that's what I like to do. Well, most witches do find places that are pretty. <laughs> Away from it. human beings. They do. Yeah. yeah. But we're here now. We have a lovely fire lighting. We oh, have we the do. sea crashing outside. We have a glass of wine. Actually, it's very um, like you're going to seduce me or something. Well, what do you think this is all And about? I'm actually lying by the fire. You are, you are actually in prime position there now by the fire. And I would slipped a little something into your drink <laughs> to make you more comfortable. <laughs> that's why my butthole is loose. <laughs> oh, yes. No, that's from that's previous joking. years. That's, that's from your, all your previous dating experiences. Now, William, are we going to tell people what this podcast is about? Because I sure as hell isn't about your butthole. Well, you gave me a fantastic little page number for me to look at there mm-hmm. last week. Mm-hmm. And uh, I came across a little story mm-hmm. in the book, which was Mysteries of the Unexplained. Explain, 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 And it's called Happenings at the Rectory. <laughs> now, that could be anything It could literally be Yeah like Happenings at the rectory Could just be like What they do in Father Ted They have tea And then they have a sandwich Could be And then they have tea Happenings at the rectory Happenings at the rectory Father Damien got up Father Damien had a cup of tea And said a few it's, prayers It sounds like um Like a Kind of like a TV show Doesn't it Happenings at the rectory Okay Did are you, you see just, Happenings at the rectory Last you, week there was a christening. Are you just... <laughs> it was insane. Someone got married. Yeah. Cliffhanger. Yeah. 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 Confirmation next week. Oh, it's going to be the con- Oh, confirmation. And then, you know what? There, then, the, then something will happen. Like the church will go on fire. Yeah. Do you know? Home and away style. Do you know? Like something that like goes on fire. Somebody gets lost in the bush. Imagine somebody getting lost in the bush in the rectory. Do you know what I mean? Oh, please stop. <laughs> okay, so my little story is a little ditty about strange, strange happenings at the rectory. I said it again. Oh, I'm plugging it. Holy Lord. I wonder what we call this episode. I think we're going to have to call it something else because if you say that one more time, I'm going to lose my mind. But, Mom! <laughs> okay, so here we go. Ro- um, Sorry. Roll, roll it there, Roshin. Roshin. Roll it there, Roshin. In early August 1919, oil began to spurt from the walls and ceilings of Swanton Nover's rectory in Norfolk, England. At first, it was supposed that the house stood over a natural oil well and that the liquid was being soaked up by the walls and then somehow ejected. But when the oil was found to be refined gasoline, this theory was abandoned. <laughs> it's efficient. It's refined and all. There was a time. petrol station as well as a church. There was a two for one. Showers of water, methylated spirits and sandalwood oil followed. I tell you, yeah. one thing you could get. It was a hardware Just store. A, it was a Woody's DIY. <laughs> and you could go in and you get every little bit. Sorry, do you have some sandpaper coming there now? Hello, Father. I'm wondering if you had any methylated spirits. I'm doing a bit of household DIY, you see. Sandalwood oil? <laughs> no, not no, today. today. I'll Tom- try tomorrow. <laughs> at one point, the oil flow was at a rate of a quart every 10 minutes. 
and the way they wrote that, honey, I'd be inclined to believe that that was fairly hard. <laughs> what? What was? It was coming out of the wall, hard. Oh, hard! No. You didn't specify what was hard there, William. Oh, don't you dare! The rector, Reverend Hugh Guy. That's a good name, isn't That's it? it. You see, What's your name, Hugh? You guy. Hugh Guy. I feel like this is rectory. That would be an old Protestant church now. That's an old Protestant... Mm, must be a Protestant uh, thing. We wouldn't know about that. But you go on. Go on and listen. <laughs> Reverend Hugh Guy was soon obliged to move his furnishings into another house. Sure, they were getting destroyed. Could probably put him into the mistress's house down the road. But you go on. A magician and his wife, Mr. and Mrs. <laughs> Oswald Williams, went to the rectory to investigate. It sounds so like, Mr. I'm a magician, isn't it? Why would you send a magician? <laughs> here, listen, can you pull rabbits out of hats? Come down here, there's metal the spirit coming out of this wall at a rate of a mile a minute. Well, I'll tell you, I'm wondering. Um, putting pails of salted water about, they hid and watched. <laughs> <laughs> they were taking the piss. We don't know what to do now. We'll hold on there now. To be they were jokers. Go on. <laughs> on September 9th, they announced that the culpr- culprit was the 15-year-old scullery maid. Oh, it's the scullery maid. It's always the scullery maid with whom a they caught, dagger in the dining room. Whom they caught throwing salt water on the ceiling. But the girl denied it and said she had been beaten to make her confess. The foreman of an oil company went to check the house and caught two gallons of oil in four hours. And a second magician turned investigator. (laughs) (laughs) I tell you, they were common enough around there now. This is carrying on. Went to investigate, stated that he observed the flow of barrels of oil during the visit to the premises. The source of the oil was never determined, but it seemed unlikely that the girl could have handled such copious quantities of it. <laughs> I just have visions of this poor girl baiting around with all these barrels of shite, fucking them on the wall, and then be like, mm-hmm, go home, you. <laughs> you fuck them up. And then, like, getting a bit of fucking metally spirits and deranged, like, fucking around, and be like, mm, yeah, they'll be high in mass tomorrow. Oh, sure, what? They were pumping out of the wall, though, it sounds like. I mean, she couldn't. <laughs> She couldn't have rigged up some elaborate system to make them pump at a rate of a quart. A quart. Do not you that, know her? Not that I know what you a quart is. You don't know what is. people are, 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 <laughs> like, are able or able to do. Um, so some newspapers oh. stated at the time, right? Oh, they hopped on this, I'd say. The 1919s going on at Swindon Nova's Rectory had a few odd twists and turns that kept the story in the papers for several months. Here is one of the initial reports from the Evening Telegraph on August 29th. A central news correspondent says that a mysterious manifestation is now subject to investigation at Swandon Rovers Rectory, Norfolk. For, for four days, past various um, inflammable liquids, which appear to be <laughs> petrol, paraffin oil, methylated spirits and also water, have dripped without intermission from every ceiling in the house. These liquids apparently ooze from the ceiling but an an examination has shown the plaster and slats to be quite dry. (laughs) The trouble was supposed to be caused by the petrol lighting plant, but this has been cut off and an expert has certified that the plant cannot be the cause. So there is a plant nearby, apparently. Uh, Meanwhile, the house is (laughs) uninhabitable. Uninhabitable. And I could only say you that in the like, uh, country, really yeah, in a country voice. <laughs> it was uninhabitable. Oh my God, is that what happens to country people when they can't say Is things? that why people, when people move down the country, they start saying things like, how are you Catherine? Because <laughs> you can't say Catherine anymore. Yeah, instead of Catherine. <laughs> how are you Catherine? Did you go to the Catherine, Catherine? <laughs> <laughs> Oh God, the house was uninhabitable. Get up out there. And the annoyance remains a complete mystery. Another account commented that the oil visitations present so many peculiar features that no single hypothesis (laughs) seems to account for them. So far, so weird. Then, a September 12th story in the Western Gazette announced an end to the riddle. Oh. 
The Press Association's Nor- Norwich correspondent telegraphs that the Swandernover's oil mystery has been solved. Oh. It was a hoax practiced by a young servant girl aged 15 employed by the rector. Mr. Oswald Williams, the well-known illusionist who was holidaying at the Cromner, offered his services to Mr. Guy and at his suggestion, the house was shut up for three days and the girl sent away. During this period, no liquid fell. The water supply was meanwhile, meantime cut off and all liquids removed. Save that of several pa- pails containing water, salted with common salt, were left about promiscuously. When the girl returned on Monday, she reported further falls of liquid. This was tested and found to be salted. Later, Mr. and Mrs. Oz, Mr. and Mrs. Williams and Mrs. Guy arrived. There's a lot of fucking Mrs. in this. And Mrs. <laughs> Williams went secretly to the room above the kitchen. The ceiling which had been torn away in search for the origin of the mystery. Peering carefully through the hole in the floor, Mrs. Williams eventually saw the girl take a glass and throw some of the salted water up to the ceiling. She was then confronted and accused and after first denying it subsequently... <laughs> sub- <laughs> subquen- subsequently... No, subsequently. Subsequently. <laughs> 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 made a complete confession of the matter in the presence of the whole party. They were all standing there and imagine her. It was me. I was cutting <laughs> the paraphernalia from my mama and throwing it on the roof. I got the liberated spirits from my father's garage and threw it on the roof. I feel like she talks out the side of her mouth. <laughs> We'll have to get a picture of this young one now. Sorry, did this one have Bell's palsy or something? Little freak. (laughs) (laughs) As pretty and tidy a solution as you could find, hope to find, rather than the canonical butler. The servant girl did it. (laughs) Well, in the Hull Daily Mail for September 11th, we find that the mystery turned violent. (gasps) The oil mystery at Swindon Rectory is not yet cleared up. The rector and Mrs. Guy are confident the young girl servant, Mabel Phillips, is guilty of the hoax. Mabel, Mabel. But she empathically denies that she has been the cause of the trouble or that she ever made a confession. Feeling locally is undoubtedly with the girl. It is pointed out that over 50 gallons of water have been thrown away and it is considered impossible for the girl to have obtain this and throw it to the ceiling without being caught. Mm. Another significant fact is that the oil and water have fallen from the ceiling when the guy when the girl has been present with other people. The girl has been closely questioned but no one has yet been able to trip over her statements. It was stated on Wednesday that, that summons had been taken out against Mrs. Oswald Williams, wife of the illusionist, for alleged assault of Phillips Monday by smacking her in the face. <laughs> Little bitch, Mabel, you're going to say you did it. You little bitch, Mabel. I'm gonna, <laughs> Mabel, I'm going to slap you hard. I want to get out of here, Mabel. <laughs> I want to get it sorted and go home. We're on holiday, so you ruined it. I'm after missing Coronation Street, <laughs> would you? The last act played out in the Hull Daily Mail on November 4th. The case of the assault arising out of the oil mystery at Swanton Nova's Rectory, Norfolk. There's a lot of ends and misses <laughs> and misters. I can't. I'm getting tongue-tied now. Brought by the parents of the servant girl Phillips against Mrs. Oswald Williams, the wife of the illusionist was heard before the local mag- magistrate at Holt on Monday. The girl stated that Mrs. Williams accused her of throwing salted water to the rectory ceiling, calling her a little devil. <laughs> <laughs> slapped her tr- <laughs> sla- slapped her three times in the face and tried by threats of- to force her to confess. <laughs> that, that, that's great. It's like. <laughs> you little <lucky> devil, <laughs> you <lucky> bitch! <laughs> you little bitch! You lucky. how many did your mom ever call you, little bitch? Um, no. Well, well you were called a bitch, aren't you? She should have. You, you Come know, close only up if the she, old telegraph. Only if she got really, really thick, she'd be like, "You little bitch!" She'll kill me now. If yeah, she she said that to my sister. Um, we all know, we know which sister it is because she doesn't be listening. Uh, hello, she that sister. I know which li- one it is. The little bitch. <laughs> my mom doesn't curse. So for my, my mom to say little bitch, like you are fucked. You're fucked. She's you are fucking. fucked. My mom did chase me up a tree once. I'd like to make that clear to everyone. And didn't do me no harm, although I did stay up there for seven hours. Jeepers, creepers. 
And she didn't call you a little bitch even though you were strutting around the house in her negligee and high heels. I'll tell you one thing, I can give you some strut. <laughs> the Reverend Mr Guy and his wife were called and they admitted that Mrs Williams caught the girl caught the girl by the wrist and accused her but denied that she struck the girl at all. Mm. I didn't go near her. I didn't know I wouldn't go near Mabel. After hearing last in <laughs> three hours, the case was dismissed. I'm guessing that both Guy and William's households had a hard time attracting servants after that last episode. Yeah. Oh, a nice little dig he gave there in the paper. Well, there you go. I mean, was it all a hoax? What was it? Well, it's fairly fucking easy to blame it on the, like, scullery maid, isn't it? Mabel. How the fuck was she pumping gallons of <laughs> gallons of oil and 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 white spirits out through the fucking th- thing? How would she do that? <laughs> I don't know now. I imagine it was her. Carrying she was on just fucking a mad. little shit like a little shit just bag. Pissed off. I know. I like because when you first said it was a hoax, I was like, oh, I bet it was like the magician guy in cahoots with the reverend to like you know like get a lot of traction for. And a, a little bit of interest in the house and make a few quid out of it, no? Maybe, yeah. What do you think? Do you think it was Mabel? I, like, no, I don't think it was Mabel. I think that, um, I think that it may have been more on the religious side of things. I think it might have been the priest or someone. Yeah, that's, um, yeah. Uh, I have another two, <laughs> another two stories. <laughs> um, and they're kind of all tied together from what I think it was. That would have been handy now, wouldn't it? Yeah. Uh, for the car, like. It would have been handy, like, it would have been handy for the car, like, you'd be like, oh, jeez, that's really nearly out of petrol. Go in there and soak a bit out of that wall and, and listen, if you're doing a bit of DIY about the house to get white spirits tomorrow. People to go down, there'd be a way for you to go to mass, wouldn't it? Oh, you see. You see. You know, you know. Go down for the aisle, get the people, you know. You know, people you know. be like, oh, there's something going on. You know, up there, you know, you see, you I'm can't. able to weed out then the newcomers to mass. See, yeah. You know, so you're only in it for the oil, you bastard. <laughs> <laughs> so they're catching. saying that this young one did it by, uh, because they caught her flaking salted water up in the ceiling. But sure, <laughs> how? Well, they looked through with the ceiling above down. She was fucking the stuff up in the thing. Yeah, but sure, don't. Caught her and was like, you little be a li- little, little devil, no, you little you devil, little, you little devil. But sure, that wouldn't that wouldn't make oil come flying out. That wouldn't make oil weep through the wall or white or methylated spirits. I know. William, tell me, tell me who it was. Nobody knows. All right. It wasn't resolved. Go on, tell me another story then. So I have another little story that <laughs> you might love. <laughs> right. Um. This is called. This is, sorry, this is not called. This is all about jewels falling from heaven. <laughs> within the church. Within the church. What? You're at mass. Yeah. You're listening. You're waiting for communion. Yeah. You're starving. 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 Something hits you on the head. <laughs> it's a ruby. <laughs> I'm not messing with you, right? So, Pastor Dennis Rojas from the House of Restoration and Mercy in Puerto Rico has a colourful background. Mm. He claims he lived for 12 years as a homosexual and professional drag queen before being saved by God and went on to become a pastor. (laughs) William, there's hope for you yet. (laughs) (laughs) One day you might hang up your high heels for a crucifix. I'm telling you. Once Dennis had become the pastor of his church, gemstones began falling from the ceiling. <laughs> I'm sorry. This is the most RuPaul's Drag Race, like, holy apparition I've ever heard of. I'm not messing with you. Uh, get, get out of I'm it. not joking, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> Jewels of various shapes, colours and sizes would literally drop from above and land on the floor of the church. The current total number of jewels that have fallen from the heaven stands at 1,250 <laughs> and growing. As well as bizarre occurrences, there has also been, as, bleh, as well as these bizarre occurrences, there has also been manifestations of oil, gold and silver. Pastor Dennis believes God has sent the angels to deliver these gifts to the church. However, skeptics aren't so sure. <laughs> One reason being that when asked if the jewels had been verified or valued, Pastor Dennis stated that the jewels could not be valued. 
Sorry, I had to br- <laughs> Pastor Jen has <laughs> stated that the jewels could not be valued as they were cut so perfectly, they were indeed priceless. <laughs> There's no point in bringing them to be valued because they're cut. They wouldn't have a value on them, but they'd be they, priceless. They're, they're perfect. They'd be perfect, you see. Others believe that the... <laughs> <laughs> Others believe that the jewels have come from Pastor Dennis's Pastor Dennis himself, mm-hmm. ripped from various costumes and dresses <laughs> he had worn as a professional drag queen in his earlier years. Pastor Dennis denies this. He also says that God has promised him a ruby the size of a golf ball. <laughs> sorry, sorry. <no. laughs> These opinions, however, do not explain the, explain the oil that has been documented dripping from the Bible on the altar. Many of the church followers have claimed super, supernatural healing and witnessing of all these events. So weird. This is gas. That so, is gas. So, so uh, no, well, he he yeah, he says that he got some of the stones um, verified and that they, yeah, they can't be prices. So we, there's a little like a uh, clip of him online <laughs> on YouTube going through it all. Very sass, like kind of a bit sassy, <laughs> bit like, you know, he's, he doesn't speak English, but um, he uh, given it loads, very hyped up over it all, showing them all, all different colours. Now, like they look like something out of a pound shop. Do you know what? The minute you started saying it, I was like, he has employed some child to like hide up in the rafters of the church and rip up his old fucking goonas that he used to have for the drag shows and <laughs> flake them down on people. I'm sorry, like that's what's going on there. I know. Well, <clears throat> this is such drag queen chic, priest chic. So no one can like expose him. Um, maybe he's not to be exposed. Maybe Finish it's real. Up. Maybe it is all real, um, but nobody has uh, really exposed him. Uh, God has it. said that he's sending me a ruby and the size of a golf ball. I know, yeah. All right, what's his name? And uh, Pastor Den- Dennis Rojas. 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 Um, Dennis. Um, <laughs> Dennis. Dennis gave it up. Dennis. For start. Dennis Murphy from down the road there. Don't you cheat. the tick. Sorry, Dennis. Uh, uh. We think that you are um, a failed drag queen that's now trying to drag up the church and you ain't dragging us with you. Um, and then in America, there was another church <laughs> that had gold. Um, so a gold glitter would fall from sorry middle of service gold glitter falling sorry gold dust Flake, flakes gold like- dust would fall from the ceiling when you're you're saying your prayers and uh, it would coach you and everything so there's <laughs> there's uh, a church ah, right brilliant. a church which was Bill Johnston's um Battelle Church in Redding California um it would fall yeah dust would fall from the air during service um so it was <laughs> Someone actually uh, did a little investigation on him and it turned so. out that he had employed somebody to put <laughs> gold dust into the vents, air conditioning <laughs> vents of, of the church whenever service would go on. And the reason they found it out was that someone who had gone to the church took some of the gold dust home and did um, a flame test on it. And sure it melted because it was plastic. (laughs) (laughs) So you see, that's the test you can do on it. And when they looked it up, um, also feathers would fall from from the heavens. The angels were dripping. The the angels looking after you. (laughs) Um, And it turned out that when they tested this stuff that it came from Walmart and Hobby (laughs) Hobby Lobby. (laughs) (laughs) Did you be able for that? Hobby Lobby. Please, if anyone has ever shopped in Hobby Lobby, I, I like the sound I of that. Know. Now, this... I have to say, when I was investigating this, I was just like, oh, that I, like, imagine if it was real and there was, like, little jewels being fallen from heaven. Oh, my God, there was one couple that I looked up, right? But then I snapped out of it. But there was one couple <laughs> that I looked up and they were like, this is a ruby that we had got. And it was another church, same type thing, gemstones falling from the sky. Um, And then... The husband started on this story of how the jewels, <laughs> he, I don't know, he said he had been to heaven and that the jewels came from 
the liquid crystal water that was in heaven right. and that it, there was a waterfall in heaven right <laughs> Checks out, of course, <laughs> that there's a waterfall in heaven, and that one of the rocks fell into the crystal waterfall. I think he said rock, and it fell down. And when it hit the ground, it uh, became a jewel and popped from heaven down <laughs> to earth through the sky. <laughs> and I was like, "How much money do you want?" <laughs> I was sold. Um, I think, oh, it's, it's terrible. Oh, there was another family ah, as well. Yeah, Will, gun, Will, Will is bought into this hook, line, and sinker. I have a little video to show you, and you can describe to our fantastic listeners. There was another um, case of a couple. Mm. Um, I didn't really go into it because I just didn't like the look of them. They, <laughs> why, why, what did and they it look was like? Stupid, like. But what did they? Why did you change? No, it? they were just two old ones, like two, like an old couple, and they used to kind of like you know, talk to talk and walk to walk amongst uh-huh. the crowds and put the hand on the head and you fall back and oh, all that stuff. Oh yes, yeah, and, yeah, uh, yeah. The the two of them went to another pastor's kind of one of these things, mm-hmm. and he um. And put the hand on the head and sure they went back. And he was known <laughs> he was known to uh do his service and then uh glitter would come out of his hair and fall on his <laughs> on his jacket. So he's going around and the more the more he kind of, you know, gets into it, the more sparkly he gets because it falls from his hair. And one taxi man said that he picked him up at the airport and there wasn't a speck on him. And by the time he dropped him off at the church he was covered. <laughs> <laughs> I swear, right? But listen to this. So the two, the two of them fell down anyway. But when he put the hand on the head of the two, mm-hmm. the other two mm-hmm. fell down, and sure, it was only then that the crowd realised there was gold dust on your man's crotch. He had gold dust on his crotch, a pile of gold dust on his where his in his tra- where his, <laughs> he, 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 his would be <laughs> on his zipper. Like there was a pile of it and that's where it manifested and they had said, oh, sure, God has a great sense of humour. Now, he put it there. Sorry, wait yeah. a minute. He was, he was storing gold dust in, well, his, in his jocks. Like, no, in his... no, 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 no. Like it, was, it wasn't an exposed. It was just that he fell down when they looked at him. Sure, there was a pile of little gold dust on his zipper. Like it had just manifested and it was a miracle. Like... What? <laughs> Are you making this up today? I swear, today? no, I, feel I like swear you're making I'm not. This up today. I'm not. Look at this one. Okay, Will's now, Will's showing me a video here and it hasn't started playing yet. It's a lady. It looks like she's on the floor or something. She's got a nice bland crap on her and people are combing through her hair with their fingers. And, oh, there's, there's glittery <laughs> There's glittery stuff all all over her top. Or it's the, there's glitter coming out of her hair. Yeah. Oh, she she's holding a Bible to her head, <laughs> and now they're using the Bible. <laughs> it's like they're trying to get mitts out of her hair, and they're 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 trying to catch them in the Bible. Her pants is covered in it. The house is ruined. There's glitter everywhere. Everywhere. Now they're all raking through her hair and looking at their fingernails. And now they're kissing her. There's a very weird South African accent over this. This isn't South Africa, yeah? Delirious in the house. They, they're, they're all going mad. They're ringing the news station. They're looking at their hands. They're, everyone is glittering. One woman's on the floor, <laughs> rolling around, kind of delirious, c- c- crying. Yeah, she's crying. The, uh, the woman in which the glitter has been found it, it just looks a little bit <laughs> <laughs> no <laughs> Stop. that's prophet Cobus and he is literally goldified there's a fella here right let me just describe this to you there's a fella here on this and he looks like uh, like a D4 girl called Sirsha who's going to her first uh, festival ever and she's got all those gold flakes like up her cheekbones and in her well, hair spoken 20 times and that. she's uh, she's doing a little turn for the camera but it's like this middle aged man with a mullet that's doing it and it just looks like somebody has fucked him in the face with loads of glitter and this he's a prophet is he? Uh, yeah he's, his name is he's prophet Cobus <laughs> 
Sorry. Was he the guy? I feel like churches are going to sue us today. Yeah, I like. I feel like if people are listening to this of a very devout nature, then they mightn't like it anymore. Well, they're listening to paranormal podcasts, so. Yeah, actually, should they be? Should they're they're already going to hell for that, aren't they? <laughs> well, yeah. Um, Thou shalt not worship well, like, false no, prophets. No, like no. I'm sorry, but the 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 gold dust one was one of them well one of them was found out to be that was from fucking Hobby Lobby and the other thing <laughs> that fella with the couple I don't know if he was exposed but come on now and do you know when and, you were doing do you know when you were doing the research for this did you yeah. come across something called the Prosperity Church no because it kind of rings bells for me with all like the jewels and the money and all that because there's a lot of churches in the states that are like Prosperity Churches and mm. um when you're part of them you have to give them a certain amount of your earnings and stuff like and it's kind of like if you pro- if I prosper and you pro- like we'll all prosper together so if you help their pastors to prosper then you're going to prosper yourself by giving them a certain amount of money and they're the pastors for these churches literally land outside the church in bejeweled helicopters and everything and they're, they're like hey! and they're all like yeah money you know like Whoa! and they're not anyway like backward about it it's like the more money you get the better because then everyone one's going to get money well I suppose like in Ireland with the yeah, priests sure, as well we and, have like, been obsessed with that's why I was thinking like uh, you know when I was like why would God if he were going to throw at and down to you throw you a ruby like what it's hardly a very Christian thing is it like like really. to be like well it's God's treasures from heaven they say but sure why would God have interest in fucking rubies he's kind of like a gift to you but he's not, he's not interested in worldly goods. Give me an iPhone X. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, God, if you are there, you're going Pro. to be hiding something or throwing something down. I lost two phones recently and I need, really need a new one. So, throw one down to me, dear. I might go Android instead of iPhone this time. Thank you. Um, do you believe in God? Oh, God, we're getting into very serious, like, territory here. That do can't you, answer that question, William. Do you William. believe in God above? Do you believe... Oh, that's brilliant. You should, re- <laughs> you should release that. Do you think? <laughs> I wrote a song last week. Go on. No, I didn't. Sing of it. I didn't. I believe in God. I know you do, yeah. Boom. You don't, <laughs> don't you know? I am... A witch. I'm not religious, but I'm spiritual. I don't know what kind of an accent that is. I, I'm not. I'm not serious with that. I think that's really annoying when people say that. I don't know. I think sure. Like I. I don't know. Sure. I. There's a lot more things that. Is it sore? What sitting on the fence? <laughs> <laughs> I believe that there's a lot more to the world than what we can understand. So. If that's what you think is God then maybe yeah but I don't think things are predestined <clears throat> kind of a thing what a politician answer <laughs> yes I know uh, Fine Gael, if you're looking for any new TDs you can get me I'm a good farming girl oh, uh, not I hate you you share of pricks and I don't care if I'm losing I, I oh, know can't you're well, fucking self well I don't care if we're losing if we're losing any listeners if you are Fine Gaelers, then you're in the wrong place our biggest audience is America. <laughs> they haven't a fucking clue what you're talking about. So, William, <laughs> you've you've taught us nothing this weekend. I taught Thank you, you nothing this you weekend. Us, but we haven't taught anybody anything since yeah, we started exactly. this. Yeah, exactly. teacher. Um, I'm just reading Mysteries of the Unexplained <laughs> Stories. Explain, 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 um, explain. But I like that little story because it was just like the maid and slapping her and being like, you little devil. You, that's gas, so snacks. your man covered in... You have to put a... Um, I linked that up on Insta yeah. because that is gas. I know. So come here to me. Guess what's happening next week? It's my turn. <laughs> it's Annie's turn. So I will be back next week with a more cohesive story. Thank Aww, you. You're <laughs> such a dog. Drags me. Drag her. <laughs> if you like us, you can find us on Instagram, which is WTF is in this book. Um, we're also on Facebook, which is what the fuck is in this book? What the fuck is in this book? And we're on Twitter, which is WTF is in this book. 
Thanks for listening. Thanks to all our new listeners. Thanks to all of you guys who had suggested us uh, for listening. Um, you must really hate your friends, but thanks for suggesting us to them. Mm. And, you know, if you do like the podcast, please just um, rate and subscribe because that really, really helps us in terms of... Give us a of, review. Give us a review. It really helps us in terms of trying to build a little bit of space for us, ourselves in what is a, quite an overcrowded market. Yeah. But we feel like we're gonna we're gonna keep being ourselves, aren't we, William? Yeah. Because you've tried for a long time to be somebody else and it Oh here, goodbye. It ain't working. See for you, you. isn't it? Okay, week. see you next week. We love you. Bye-bye. Bye bye.